When it comes to addictions, the cause of addictions is very, very clear. Uh, basically, it all goes back to childhood trauma. Uh, addictions is all about soothing pain. Uh, it's seeking oblivion because reality is too distressing. Seeking a change in the state of the brain or the mind because it's too uh, painful. And the source of all that goes back in almost every case to childhood trauma, both because that shapes the brain in certain ways and also because it, of course, creates this lifelong wound that then you try to soothe through the addictive behavior. So that's fairly, you know, and that's what the research shows as well. That's fairly clear. But before I worked in addictions, I worked in family practice for uh, three decades, and for seven years, I was medical coordinator of the palliative care unit at Vancouver Hospital where I looked after terminally ill people. And so, both in family practice and in uh, palliative care, the question of who gets sick and why uh, was salient for me. And I began to notice, after a while, that disease is not random. So that just as um, addiction is a response to life experience, so is cancer. So is multiple sclerosis. So is rheumatoid arthritis. So is chronic asthma, psoriasis, eczema. Um, any chronic disease you care to name, I've come to believe, can be traced back to a lifelong experience. So that it's not just an isolated, random, accidental event that out of sheer bad luck strikes some people, but it really is uh, the result of an accumulation of um, lifelong experiences. And that's not obvious from the medical perspective, because the Western medicine makes two separations. We separate the mind from the body, and secondly, we separate the individual from the environment. So then when a disease shows up, we don't think that has anything to do with the person's emotional life. And secondly, we don't think it has anything to do with the person's relationships with the world. So we try and find the answer to disease in the individual cell or in the individual organism, which it turns out is not an appropriate way to understand human beings.